guys, it's Sarah Jane. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to get books when you can't afford to booktube. So today I'm going to be doing a video on how to get books for booktube when you don't have a lot of money. The reason I'm going to be doing this video is because I watched a video from Richard Denny about a month ago where he spoke about the financial burdens of booktube. I was planning on filming a video response but when I sat down to film I found that I was basically just repeating everything that he said. Because ultimately I agree with him, you don't need to spend a fortune on books in order to booktube. So. What I've decided to do instead is do a video with hints and tips on how to get new books when you don't have a lot of money. None of them involve shoplifting, FYI. If you would like to watch Richard's video, I will link it in the description box down below. So like I said, this video is going to be hints and tips, so let's get started with tip number one. Tip number one is very, very simple. Read the books you've already got. I'm not claiming that I listen to this piece of advice all the time myself, because I don't. I have lots of books on my TBR, and the other day I did buy a few books. But if you really, really want to read something new, take a look at your TBR and see what books you bought six months ago, a year ago, maybe even longer than that. You obviously bought these books for a reason, so pick them up off your shelves and give them a read. If you do look at your bookshelf and you see some books that actually you did buy, but now you really, really don't want to read, still take them off your shelves because I have an idea for them later. Tip number two is to book swap. If you have books that you have either read and you no longer want, or books that you perhaps bought and now have no intention of reading, swap them. You can swap these books with friends or family. Yesterday I had a friend pop over, she had a lot of doubles of books, some that she'd been given, some that she accidentally got twice, so she let me have a good look through this big bag of books, and I ended up getting a nice selection of books for free. If you haven't got any bookish friends or family that you want to swap books with, you know, perhaps you don't have lots of people around you who read, or perhaps they do read but you don't really want their books, Twitter. You can still swap your books on Twitter. So there's a thing going on on Twitter right now which is books for trade. It's hashtag books for trade or hashtag books for trade UK if you are in the UK. I have seen lots of tweets about this in my Twitter feed and what I have seen is people are swapping books and they are either putting out a call saying this is the book I really want, has anybody got it? And if someone's got it and they're willing to trade they will then give that person like a selection of books that they would like to pick from. Or some people are saying what they have to trade in their first Twitter post and they're saying these are the books I've got, has anybody got anything that I might like to read? So it swings both ways and you're swapping these books with no money changing hands so it's completely free. Depending on what books you're swapping you might not necessarily get one book for one book, you might trade three older books for perhaps one new release. Either way swaps can happen and you can get new books for no money with the exception of the postage that you pay to get your books to the person that you're swapping with. For tip number three, you can go to this amazing place where you can get books for free and it's called the library. If you have a library card you can get books out from the library for free to read and then you return them. Now admittedly you won't get every book that you want at the library, sometimes there is a really long wait, sometimes they don't have the book, but if you are considering getting a book or you really want to get it but you can't afford it, look up the library, see if they've got it and read it from the library and then if you really like it and you feel you want to own it, you can get that at a time where you've got some more money or you can wait for it to go down on sale but you have read it when you wanted to read it. And this won't cost you a penny unless you get library fines. I always get library fines. I don't know what my problem is, I just... Uh, yeah. <laughs> the other thing as well is often you can get books to buy at libraries, like if they're getting rid of some of the books, and you can get them really really cheap, so that's another way to get books from the library. Tip number four is to buy your books second hand. Brand new books are very very expensive and you can save a lot of money if you buy books second hand. Now I have had both positive and negative experiences in buying books second hand when I bought them off the internet. Sometimes I buy a book and it says it's in as new condition and it's not in as new condition at all, but sometimes I buy a book and it literally looks brand new and I've paid like half or even a third of the price. So you can buy your secondhand books online, but that's not something that I do a lot of generally. If I buy a secondhand book, it's something that I buy in person. So places that I like to get secondhand books are boot sales. So a boot sale in the UK is the equivalent of like a yard sale in America, but it's not just one person selling their stuff, it's like a field with loads and loads of cars and you put your tables in front and you just sell all the stuff you don't want anymore. I haven't been to a boot sale this year, but in the past I have got loads and loads of bargains from boot sales. If I go to a boot sale, most books are between 20 and 50p. The only time I ever really pay more is if somebody has a book that's like really, really popular. Like for example, I got the whole Hunger Games trilogy 
for £1.50 for like all three books and that was actually expensive for a boot sale so boot sales are amazing. You do have to get up early and you do have to walk down like all these rows which is why I don't really go to them anymore because of health reasons but when I was able to I loved a good boot sale. Mm -hmm. The other place to buy books are charity shops. Now I love charity shops. The books in there are really well priced. Generally you'll pay anything from about 50p to a pound and 99% of the time the books are like a flat rate price so it doesn't matter whether the book has come out like last week or five years ago. It's all going to be the same price. In the past the books I've got from the charity shops have been I got Divergent, I got some Mortal Instruments books for my cousin, I got lots of J.R. Ward books with really, really nice covers. I have got loads and loads of really, really good books in amazing condition from the charity shops. I also see books a lot of the time that I already have or I don't want, but I think that's such a bargain, like somebody will get a really good book here for like 50p. So that's a really good way to get books for very, very cheap. Tip number five is get cheap or free books on your Kindle. Now I prefer a paperback book over a Kindle book any day but at the same time I do have a lot of love for my Kindle because when I'm not feeling very well I find it much easier to read on my Kindle and there are some great deals out there. And I'm not talking about the free books on Kindle that you're not really interested in because everybody says that, everyone says oh there's loads of free books on Kindle but if they're not the books you want to read it doesn't matter. I'm not interested. I have found some great bargains on Kindle. I got the first book in the Throne of Glass series for 49p last year. Bargain. These deals are always, always on Twitter. So if you're active on Twitter, keep an eye out. And even if you're not planning to read the book, like at that time, if it's very, very cheap or free, get it anyway, because then when you want something to read, it's there. I've got some really, really good deals in the past. Like I said, I got Throne of Glass for 49p. I got a book by Rachel Vincent for free. Um, I already had them all on paperback, but for one day only, she did the first book in her Soul Screamer series for free. So I downloaded it because I thought, well, if I'm somewhere where I've only got my Kindle, it's a book to read. And something else I think is really, really cool is Ben from Benjamin of Tomes. He does something called Free Book Friday, where he shares a book that is free on Kindle on his channel every Friday. Also, Casey Ann Books on YouTube, she shares a lot of links for free books as well. So check both of them out. I will put their links down below. Tip number six is to enter giveaways. Giveaways are a really, really great way to get good books. A lot of the time you can get these giveaways on Goodreads. I will link Goodreads down below if you haven't heard of it. I'm sure you have. It's a social media platform for reading. There are loads of giveaways going on and you can literally enter them for the click of a button. Sometimes it's books that you've heard of, sometimes you haven't heard of them, but you can enter these giveaways and you might be lucky enough to win a book. A lot of book bloggers give books away on their blogs, booktubers give books away on their channels. I know I have in the past. So keep an eye out for them because that's also a way that you can get books for free and sometimes those books even come signed. There's also usually competitions going on on Facebook pages like um, publisher pages or their Twitter where it's retweet to win the book, stuff like that. You can win a book that way. There's loads and loads of opportunities to win great books out there if you look. So that's it for this video. I really, really hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it will make my day and subscribe. I would like you guys to comment down below with your best like book bargain or free book that you got in any of the ways that I've mentioned because I would love to know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!